Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. In today's video, I'm very excited to bring an Easter centerpiece idea to you with the Easter bunny butt. <laughs> I'm so excited to find this plaque at a Dollar Tree. Definitely worth it. And let's make something beautiful and high-end looking, okay? <laughs> if you like this video, please don't forget to press thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also consider subscribing to my channel. That way you become my bestie and we will be in touch, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much. Let's get started. My bestie and your bestie sit down by the fire. And if you're wondering about this adorable lamb, it was made totally out of Dollar Tree items and you can look it up in this video. I'll provide a link for you in the description box below as well. And if you have an extra minute, please stay with me through the end and we will say a prayer for Ukraine and end of the war. Today's DIY we will make mostly with the Dollar Tree items. We are going to cover the bunny butt with the soft microfiber cloth you can find in the auto department or you can upcycle something that you don't wear anymore. Also, we're going to need some felt and you can get a pack of eight at the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a couple spatulas today. This one is from Cricut, but you can find a similar one at a Dollar Tree. And this one comes from my husband's barbecue. <laughs> we are going to use these to lift up and separate all the pieces. The large spatula is great because it really prevents uh, breakage, you know? We are going to cover everything with a soft cloth. So first you are going to trace around it and then cut it out. What I realized later is good to cut some excess fabric all around the shape. That way you could use it to fold over the plaque and have a nice finished edge. Let me show you that in a second. As you start gluing, of course you glue in small sections because glue dries so fast, right? When I turn it over, I can see where I have excess fabric. I add some glue along the edge, fold over the fabric and make a nice finished edge. Look at that. And I wish I left even a little bit more than that. I would make it easier on myself, you know, um, but that's why you watch and you learn from my experience, right? <laughs> And here's the look at the covered plaque. You can see exactly what I mean here. Looks so nice and you see the edge is finished. Okay, lesson learned. Now making the pose will be even easier. If you'd like, you can cover the tail next. I decide not to do it because I have a bunny tail clip. I got it at the Dollar Tree last year. Might as well use it. It coordinates perfectly. We just need to add those paw pads, like here in those mini buds from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you had seen these pigs. They're so cute. We're basically making a jumbo version of that. I just realized that. <laughs> I decided to go for yellow. Of course, you choose any color that goes with your decor. I use a glass and then a water bottle cap uh, to trace around the circles and then cut out the pop pads. Adjust the shapes to size and then glue it when you're happy how it looks. Hop, hop. I play around with placement, but then just decide to attach them over there where I have the line cut out. I think that's gonna be perfect. And we're gonna clip our tail right here. 
actually I need to remove that clip and oops <laughs> glue it a little bit lower down there yeah glue everything down and here comes our finished bunny bat <laughs> my bestie and your bestie sit down by the fire do you like it are you enjoying this video so far please press thumbs up thanks so much <laughs> So this bunny butt makes a great reef attachment, only $3 spent here. But today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna add it to a basket. Because who doesn't have a basket laying around, right? <laughs> we're gonna add a set of ears and a couple of chicks. Everything is a dollar at the Target dollar spot. So those quarters add up, might be worth a trip to Target. Also, you're gonna need some color coordinating ribbons. I got some from Dollar Zone, Dollar Tree. Uh, also greenery, the onion grass. I think that might've been leftovers from an old project. Uh, butterflies might be missing from mine. Uh, flowers might be better deal at the Walmart now. These are from last year. I paid less than a dollar a bushel. And then uh, some carrots, eggs, anything that you want to add to your basket. And you know, I like to use the pool noodle instead of the floral foam because you just get more for your dollar. Just cut it up in shorter pieces and stuff your basket. And tell me how much you would have to spend for floral foam to fill up a basket of this size. Here you still have some leftover for next time. <laughs> We're going to utilize the holes at the top of the plug, thread your floral wire through there, and we are going to tie it to the handle of your basket. Easy as that. I decide to push it up a little bit and then I reinforce it with hot glue. All right, let's see how we're gonna add these ears. I think it should be this way, right? Because we can see the bunny from the back. But the pretty side uh, is on the other side. I wanna flip those ears um, to see the yellow, but you know what? These ears don't have a wire in them. I think it's plastic. It's very strange. Uh, but I'm so tempted to do it this way so they coordinate with the feet but I know it's gonna bother me. That's not the right way. <laughs> uh, I stretch out the headband. It's gonna be very easy to install it on that basket handle. I'm just gonna go for it and try to flip that ear down at least one. <laughs> Next, we are going to add the tall grass. Just insert it from the back. Glue it down when you like it, and then uh, just fluff it up, spread it all over. Next, I want to add a little carrot patch, and you know, the greenery on those Dollar Tree carrots is so funny, so poor. <laughs> Um, you've seen me do this uh, last couple of years. I simply replace it with a piece of a Dollar Tree greenery and insert that pin back in there with some hot glue and transforms that carrot right away. For a few cents, look at this. What a comparison, right? <laughs> Check out this video if you like to see how I make the carrots from scratch because I know not all of you have a Dollar Tree. So we're gonna make a few more and we're gonna plant them on the side somewhere here.
Next, we are going to plant our daffodils in the back. And if you haven't met my bird, uh, her name is Tweety, always wants to steal the show over here. <laughs> Before we add more flowers, let's just make a bow. I cut three pieces of ribbon, 24 inches long. Uh, we're gonna cut the fish cells, uh, just fold the ribbon in half, cut diagonally towards the wired edge, cut two ends at the same time. And we are going to make a bestie bow. It's the easiest bow out there, my subscriber's favorite. We simply measure a five inch loop, pinch it, hold with your thumb, five inches, pinch and hold, five inches, pinch and hold. You can make more loops if you like, but I think three is just enough for this. I don't want the bow to be too big. Tie it together and fluff it up until you get a pretty bow. It's easy as that, as you can see. Put your hand through each loop and fluff up the tails. And you see, so easy, right? <laughs> We are going to tie the bow over here on the side of the handle. Just thread the pipe cleaner through there, tie it down, add a dab of hot glue so it doesn't slide down for you, fluff it up. You know, you can make some tails into loops too. Just bend them over like that. Spread them out and I think this is, this is pretty, right? I have some uh, small daffodils here from the Dollar Tree. Aren't they cute? I think they're just perfect to insert on the side of the bow here and there and to add a little bit more variety. And before I add any more, I decide to cover all the pool noodles with the green moss. This is also from Dollar Tree. We want to make sure we have room for our little chicks. <laughs> Look at that cute guy. Oh my goodness. You know, the daffodils are all about the new beginnings, right? Rebirth. And same for chicks, new life. Uh, so it's all symbolism for Easter and I love that. Okay, let's add some more over here on the other side. And here I have some pretty grass I got at Michael's, so I'm just going to cut a couple pieces and insert to the front. Just a little accent. I don't want to cover up my chick over here. Still needs room. I feel like adding a little chalkboard sign. I'm going to use the tag from the Dollar Tree and just write something cute like, where are my carrots? <laughs> and I'm going to do a little bow out of the thin Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm going to cut off that wire in the back and just add a dab of hot glue and attach the bow to the front of the tag. Just a little decorative accent. And we're actually going to glue this tag to the front of the basket. I'm going to cut off that string.
Let's see, do we have any room for an egg or two? You know, that yellow egg goes perfectly here. Uh, maybe here by the chick. Yes, a baby brother is coming soon. <laughs> One more? Hmm. I'm afraid we don't have enough room here. I don't want to overcrowd it, but we have room for a little cherry on top. A last butterfly from my butterfly bush. As the white bunny was playing in a field digging for carrots, a beautiful golden butterfly came around and sat on his cotton tail. <laughs> As usual, step back, take a look at your arrangement, feel free to add a couple finishing touches, and I hope you had enjoyed watching me create this playful spring Easter arrangement. I'm not adding many more flowers in the back because this is mostly 180 degrees, maybe a 240 because it's still pretty on both sides. It's great to place it in a corner or you know, somewhere on the front table, maybe, entryway, wherever you're going to place it, I'm sure it's going to bring a lot of smiles to you, to your family and guests. Please comment, let me know if you plan on making one. Right, my bestie so this is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and please press thumbs up subscribe button too so this way you will be in touch with me see you next time take care if you have a minute could you pray with me for ukraine today i like to pray through the intercession of black madonna an icon of the blessed virgin mary housed in my homeland poland heavenly father thank you for giving the church a wondrous help and defense in the Most Holy Virgin Mary and honoring her sacred image as the Black Madonna. Our Mother, Queen of Poland, trusting in your maternal goodness and powerful intercession with your Son, we place with you our prayers and petitions for peace in the world and end of the shedding of innocent blood. Your image bears scars of enemy attacks you are a sign of hope, unity, and victory. We praise you and we love you. Be our help and protection. Aid us in overcoming all the evil of this world. Amen. There's a place in the world where one longs to return, where her image slashed with so